you may be wondering how Google could cause you as a cinema owner to have a screen go dark. Well in this video today I'm going to tell you exactly how that can happen in the future. This is James Gardner at the Cinetech Geek and let's get geeky today and make sure that KDMs get delivered on time and properly and that the changes that Google is making with Gmail do not affect you, uh, you're prepared for it and you don't end up having a dark screen. So let's have a look what's going on here. And you'll see here they're talking about transition from less secure passwords to OAuth. So what that really means is that if you have KDMs coming into your cinema, and many cinemas do, they have automation tools these days to help you do, the, do that automatically. To put them into the TMS or put, to put them into the projector, rather than having for the user to go into each email, download the zip file, unzip and load it into each projector. Very time consuming. If you can automate it, you will. And a lot of cinemas have. And a lot of cinemas have also used Gmail as the email for having the KDMs delivered because, you know, Gmail's free, very reliable. Why not? Um, over the years, Gmail has made it more and more difficult. Uh, initially, you could just use your username and password to log in. Then they added the need for uh, app passwords where you had to make a password for every app. And then they made it so you needed two-factor authentication on that Gmail account so it was harder to manage because you needed a phone that was dead connected to the account. And now they're going to the next step and they're making you use OAuth going forward. Now using OAuth is so problematic, I don't really see many automation systems adopting it. And the reason for that is that to have OAuth work in your application, you have to um, register with Google's backend app services, make a business, put a, um, credit card information against it, then uh, apply for the service which allows you to access OAuth. And there you go. There's a massive single point of failure. If someone stops looking after that OAuth, um, OAuth access key, and you have 100 sites using it and that key disappears, all those 100 sites, push, they all stop auto being automated all at once. It's a massive single point of failure. It's not a good path. So unfortunately, the really, the going forward, it's probably best to go away from Gmail for any sort of automated messaging solutions. So the next is, what do we, how do we fix this? What do we do to replace Gmail if we are using that for our automated um, KDM solution. So let's talk about that. Um, obviously, um, I actually have uh, a tool called um, a free tool. Make sure it's a free tool that quite a few cinemas have adopted to do their automatic KDM delivery solutions. It's called Cinema Catcher App. As you can see, it's got an auto, I call it auto KDM, and you can program in your screens and program in your source, your IMAP sources, and it attaches to an IMAP. Um, email account, pulls down the KDMs and delivers them. Obviously I looked at putting um, OAuth into this and as you, as you, can, as you can tell um, I've decided not to because it's just, it's just not a good path. So you don't, so you need to switch to another account. So obviously one of the first possibilities is Microsoft or Hotmail or whatever you want to call it. They support IMAP um, and the, tip, the typical way but again if Google is putting in these conditions to help make it harder for people to use their free accounts as message messaging agents, it's likely that Microsoft will probably go down that path at some stage too. So what do you do next? Well, you have to pay for a service like this. That's exactly what you want. It's going to stay that way and kind of keep going while you pay for it. And here we go. We've got a list of um, hosting advice of a lot of hosting people who do general email account hosting. As you can see here, most of them have IMAP, which is really what you need. So you can log into it with an IMAP username and password and access the emails and download them into your automation system. And there's plenty to choose from and they have a vast number of different prices, etc. And um, you can just pretty much select something that's suitable for you. But obviously you will need to buy an account for every email. So if you've got five cinemas, you'd need to buy five email accounts if you want to separate them. Or if you want to have a global email account that gets all KDMs, which some cinemas sites do as well, you have to have an account for that as well. So you can really do what you want, but you're really talking about buying um, uh, an account for every email that you want to have created for using as a messaging agent. Now that's great, but um, one problem that you can have with these services is because they do um, 
um, all you know running an email server is not easy because there's a lot of bad actors out there sending spam and malware and all this terrible stuff there's all these security protocols and mechanisms that you have to put in place that helps detect and remove these messages from the system so that's why they say these days it's not really something you don't want to really run your own mail server unless you really know what you're doing and you've got a specific purpose for it like we have so but generally no um i would suggest not to run your own mail server if you're actually doing you know a proper full-on mail server and you're using it to contact everyone and anyone to make sure that every mail gets delivered and using a hotmail or a, a gmail or or a, a recognized mail service agent um and and you, you um if you if if that's what you're doing if you if you're making your own mail server but if you're only putting a mail server together to receive emails to receive kdms then that's not a problem because you're not sending email you're just receiving it and you don't really care if it gets much spam or anything because your automated agent is just going to ignore all that and only really pull out the kdms that it needs so it's very easy to set up your own email server if you want to and there's quite there's quite a few ways to do that these days and you could you could set it up in your uh in your um in your own cinema or you could set it up on a cloud on a virtual private server using numerous virtual private service vendors like amazon or azure or there's so many other third-party ones which are very cost effective now and you could easily use for example um there's this um tool here uh docker's mail server you can go through the instruction there to you know get a get a mail server running in 10 minutes with nearly everything and just add the features that you want another one called mail you very similar um another you know building up your mail servers etc now these things can support all the security aspects that you if you want to but you don't have to turn that stuff on and really at the end of the day you're receiving emails so your your uh, automation system can pull them out and push them into the projectors and tms so those are two paths which i highly recommend now if you do want to add some sending email features to these systems which is you know i actually do suggest that you know a lot of the warning systems i use in my cinema installations is that um, emails are sent when issues occur uh, or there's kdms missing or anything like that i have services which check everything and if anything looks wrong or suspect it'll send emails to the the correct um the correct agent or you know or the correct person in the organization to oh yeah okay yeah something needs to be looked at and have a look at so he can just you know only do things when he needs to do things so sending in emails is very handy so it sometimes is good to have a a, a, a mail sending capability you could use something like smpt to go or um amazon simple email services i use amazon email simple email services for sending all my emails through my automation systems because i send quite a lot for um, all the things i do um, but there are different ways to do that and so yes so those are the paths which you can go down if you want to move away from gmail and other potential free services that we've been adopting over the years because they're free but it looks like they may not be free-ish for much longer and if that is going to happen these are the lengths that you will need to go to ensure that your KDMs get delivered reliably and quickly. One of the other reasons I suggest using your own um, email server is because um, you don't have, you don't turn on all the spam detection and all this other stuff, because that stuff can take, make an email take many, many minutes, 10 to 15 minutes to go through a system. Um, and you know, if you're in a hurry for a KDM to be delivered, um, you have a good um, dedicated email server that just lets them come in very quickly and you can scan them with an automation tool very quickly and push them directly into your TMS or um, player. That is an advantage of having your email, own email server and actually using it exact, for exactly and only for what it, you want to use it for. Um, and yeah, so those are some of the advantages. It's really horses for courses. Now, I do do it um, uh, if you want some um, IT advice or me to come in and help you implement these services I am available for contracting uh, to, to help you implement these services if you want to and some of the best and cost effective ways to do it or if you need somebody to come in and have a look at what's going on so I'm available for that give me a call if you want also remember do give my videos a thumbs up because it helps people find them and obviously if you do know other center owners who may run into a problem like this do pass on these um my videos because we do not want a dark screen caused by this change via 
by Gmail. And so we must be informed and react with plenty of time to make sure that we don't get bit in the butt by this change by Gmail. Anyway, that's James Gardner, the Senior Tech Geek, and bye for now.